seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go New Horizons! Go New Horizons! Joy, relief, and celebration. Billions of kilometers from Earth, humanity has encountered a mysterious icy rock four and a half billion years old. We're here to tell you that last night, overnight, the United States spacecraft New Horizons conducted the farthest exploration in the history of humankind and did so spectacularly. Thousands of operations on board the spacecraft had to work correctly in order for us to be able to tell you this, and now we know that it all did. Scientists feared the New Horizons spacecraft could have been seriously damaged by even the smallest particle, but luckily that didn't happen. And after being out of contact for 10 hours, they received a radio signal that the spacecraft had survived its flyby of the cosmic body named Ultima Thule. Flying at 51,000 kilometers per hour, the spacecraft snapped thousands of photographs of the dark icy space rock as it sped past it on the outer edge of the solar system. Over the coming months, it will send those images back to NASA. Overnight tonight, the science team will be analyzing the first high-resolution images, which we'll be able to show you tomorrow. Now, the image that I'm about to show you um, is the best image of Ultima that we got pre-flyby, and it's okay to laugh, but it's better than the one we had yesterday. It all, all, there it is. Meet, meet Ultima. <laughs> Ultima Thule lies around six and a half billion kilometers from Earth, near the edge of the solar system in the Kuiper Belt. That region consists of many dwarf planets, space rocks, and icy debris left over from the days when the solar system was first forming. New Horizons zoomed past Ultima three and a half years after its spectacular brush with Pluto. It took six hours for the radio signals from New Horizon to reach Earth, and it will take nearly two years for all of its data to be beamed back. Ultima is shaped like a peanut, but these scientists say it'll soon be viewed as an entirely new world. Christine Pirovolakis, TRT World.